الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد و علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله racial hatred and racism is evil and from the shaitan as we mentioned and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned that this arrogance this hatred that these are the sunnah of the shaitan as we mentioned prior to this in talking about the ayah in surah al-baqarah after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam and ordered him to make sujood and the shaitan refused out of arrogance وَكَانَمِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ And he is from the disbelievers. And so we know that this racism and this racial superior, this concept of racial superiority is batil. It has no place in Islam, but yes, the Muslims continually practice the sunnah of Iblis in this issue. وَاللَّهُ مُسْتَعَانَ And أَحَبَةِ فِي اللَّهُ I want to mention a hadith of the messenger Salawatu Rabbi wa salamuhu alayh In which he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said And this shows us where our priorities need to be That the person of strong iman Is looking for success through Iman not bias and superiority over others and that the one of Iman the person of Iman knows and rests assured that the superiority only comes from what Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala holds to be superior traits and that is through taqwallah so the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said inna allah la yanzuru ala al-sadikum ajsadikum wala ala surukum walakin yanzuru the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Verily Allah does not look to your your shape or your, your form so that of course that includes your color your, your racial identity your tribal background your shakal, you know, your, your characteristics, your physical traits. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks to your hearts and your deeds. Ahabatifillah, this shows us that our priorities need to be on iman. And need to be on taqwallah It doesn't mean that you don't have preferences And you think certain traits are beautiful And that when you choose a spouse uh, A husband or a wife That you know you, you, you don't want What you consider to be beautiful That's not what we're talking about But we're talking about Being away from those actions 
and that knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care anything about those things. That He subhanahu wa ta'ala created us. وَإِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ And to Him, uh, we belong and to Him we shall return. And that He looks to your hearts, your iman, your ibadah qalbiyah, you know, the worship that you have in your hearts. وَعْمَالَكُمْ And your deeds, your physical actions of worship, whether that there be the shahada on the tongue, أَقَوْلِ lisan, الْأَمَلْ بِجَوَارِحِ وَأَمَلَ بِأَمَلَ قَلْبِ All of that comprises iman, the deeds, your, your, your actions, your open actions of worship, whether that be salat, whether that be zakat, whether that be jihad, whether that be zakat, whether it be smiling, whether it be giving someone a handshake, whatever the case may be, physical acts of ibadah, a'mal. And that also means those actions of worship in the heart as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in the hadith that Allah looks to your hearts are you sincere do you have a class do you have taqwa Allah do you have muhabbatillah do you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do you love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those are issues of the qalb we don't we can't really judge those uh, externally And then those actions of the tongue. So this is what is important to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is our criterion. And that's why we cannot think that we are superior over others due to our racial background, our tribal influence, our nationality and why we've got to put it all in perspective that that is the true criterion the true scale and the means for dealing with the wicked hatred and ignorance and arrogance that we see that's becoming more and more apparent around the world towards other human beings but in fact if we take the criterion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of what is the superior traits that all of us can have regardless of our color, our race, our size, our shape, then we'll have success. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, ala sunnah al nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to rid the evil, racist traits that we have in our community. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiya na Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.